Hello and welcome to this how tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the line ST formula in Excel 2016. So first of all, I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick little graph just to show you what kind of line we're getting the regression of, which is what the line ST formula does along with a bunch of other extra things. So delete that title real quick and I'll throw in a trend line. Now this of course is important or essential to creating a line ST formula, but just to give you a better visual example of what it's doing. So there's our formula, our equation, and our R squared value. And I'll go ahead and type in equals line ST, open parentheses, and we'll need our known Y's in there first. So I'll go ahead and select our known Y's and then we'll go ahead and get our known X's. I'm not exactly sure why the Y values are first in the formula, but whatever. So there we have it. It's telling us our slope is equal to two. Move that up there to line it up with all that on the right side, which you'll see later. Make a selection just like so. And we'll go ahead and throw in a comma and another comma after that. We can just skip that constant parameter and we'll hit true for all the extra stats. So before we do that, we need to control shift enter, put those curly brackets and make it an array. And now we have a bunch of other data and statistics and all this corresponds to the bold lettering I have over here on the right side. I'm not exactly sure what all that does. I am familiar with the R squared at least and the slope and intercept, of course. So if we change that value, that'll change the F, whatever that is, honestly. Change it from an actual perfect one value for R squared. So I guess that was the problem with there with it throwing a number error. So there you have it. Just keep that chart in mind, whatever you need it. This has been a How Tech Video Tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.